scope of uh, social uh, psychology. Uh, what we mean by scope of social psychology means the fields that we can uh, study within it the social uh, psychology. Uh, there are uh, three um, general ways to study uh, social uh, psychology. Uh, as we will find here in this slide, social psychology attempts to understand the relationship between minds, groups, and behavior in three general ways. That means that there are trials or intention to uh, study social psychology or to understand uh, social psychology within the relation between what we think and the groups and accordingly the behavior that they will take in three general ways which are first it tries to see how the thoughts feelings and behaviors of individuals are influenced by actual, imagined, or implied presence of others. Two, it tries to understand the influence that individual perceptions and behaviors have upon the behavior of groups. Third, it tries to understand groups themselves as behavioral entities and the relationships and influences that one group has upon another group. Let's discuss each one separately. So what we mean here by scope of social psychology, the field of social psychology, here we are going to understand the relationship between uh, minds, thinking, okay, thoughts, and the groups, and accordingly the behavior. The first way is that social psychology is trying to what? To see how the thoughts, feelings, and behaviors of the people or of the any individual, okay, is or are influenced by what? By the presence of others. And we discussed that, that the people or that the individual are influenced by what? By the others in the society. This includes what? Social perception. Social perception means that we, how we understand or comprehend compre uh, the others, how we understand the other uh, people who are surrounding us. And social interaction, the interaction between people and each other, the individual and other people in the society, and the many kinds of social influence, and what we will be affected by when we interact or we have social relationships, like what, like trust, that you trust in the others, like power, okay, like persuasion, power of the others on you or your power or their persuasion, how you are convinced or how we can be convinced. This point deals with the questions, with the questions like what? How do small group dynamics impact cognition and emotion states? That's mean, how can a small group be active and effective, okay? Rationally, cognition does mean that rationally by using mind and emotionally. Second question, how do social groups control or contribute to behavior, emotion, or attitudes of the individual members? If we are in a social group, for example, we are in a family, okay, how this family control or share in the behavior and the emotion or attitude of the individual member. For example, the parents, okay, how the parents will share in uh, your behavior, your emotion, 
your attitude within this group. How does the group impact the individual? How this group, how this family, how these parents will affect the individual? How does the individual operate within the social group? And accordingly, how this individual will react or will be interacting with the other people in the social group. So here we try to understand the influence the, or the impact or the effect that the individual perceptions, that the individual understand and accordingly their behaviors mm -hmm. have upon the behavior of the groups. How does persuasion work to change group behavior, emotion or attitude? And accordingly, how that the, uh, uh, the group can change, uh, can convince uh, those who are the member of the group to change their behavior or emotion or attitude. For example, as we live now within the coronavirus, so the groups are interacting with the other, trying to persuade the people to stay at home. Okay, so we change our behavior in uh, how to uh, take care of our public health and uh, accordingly our emotion towards what's going on with all over the world and to change our attitudes and accordingly our behavior will be changed. The second point, it tries to understand the influence that individual perceptions and behaviors have upon the behavior of uh, groups. Here we will see what the influence of what of the individual, okay, of the individual understanding and the individual uh, behavior upon what, upon the behavior of the groups, that the individual will impact the behavior of a group. That means the behavior of an individual will affect or will influence the behavior of groups. This includes looking at things like what? Like group productivity, group dynamic, okay? Or group way of their production in the workplace. And group decision making. For example, in an industry, how the workers are productive, okay? And how the group is taking decision. Or if you are in a business uh, uh, work like uh, real estate, for example. So here we will see how the productivity of the employees, okay, in order to sell uh, this estate uh, or compound, for example, and the decisions that will be taken by the group. It looks at questions like, what are the reasons behind conformity, diversity, and divides? That means that they were going to ask questions in order to understand why it's okay, why we should conform with that, okay? And the diversity of decisions, of different plans in order to take decision and divines, divines means that sometimes it's uh, departing from usual. Sometimes you think out of the box, okay? Not the usual thinking that we used to do uh, or to adapt with, but we should think of another solution out of the box. Third and finally, social psychology tries to understand groups themselves as behavior, behavior and titles and the relationships and influence that one group has upon another group. Here we are going to understand what the group itself, okay, and how each group interact with another group and what, how they will influence each other, that the influence of a group on another group. So, 
And here we are going to ask questions like, what makes some groups hostile to one another? Hostile means to be opposite to one another, that a group is offensive to the other group, that they are not uh, conform to each other. And others neutral or civil. People are neutral, that they are not they are so natural uh, or survive. Do groups behave in a different way than an individual outside the group? If we are in a group, we behave in a way. And if we are as an individual outside the group, we are going to behave in another way. In European textbooks, there is also force level called the ideological level. It studies the societal forces that influence the human type. If we refer to European books, we'll find that they have another or the fourth level, not only the three that we mentioned. It's called what? Ideological. Ideological means that an idea that they believe in it, to believe in it. For example, capitalism. Capitalism is an ideology that the people should, uh, uh, that the investment should be private sector, not to be governmental sector. Uh, it studies, this is an ideology. It studies what? The societal forces, the powerful of the society, the powerful of the society that influence the human social psychology of what his thoughts or feelings or behavior. And accordingly, uh, the first story attitudes and accordingly the behavior. So here in the scope of social psychology, we mentioned three points. Again, they are, it tries to see how thoughts, feelings, behaviors of what, of individuals are influenced by what, by the presence of others, are influenced by the others of people, by other people, by the society. Number two, it tries to understand the influence that individual perceptions and behaviors upon the behavior of groups. Here, we try to understand the influence that, that what the individual understand and behavior upon the group, which is the vice versa. Third, we're going to understand how groups interact with each other and the relationship between them and how each group influences the other group. The force which was ideological and studying what the powerful of the society or the societal forces that influence the human side or human psychology. Now we are going to move uh, to uh, social psychology in society. That we want to show or want to indicate or want to prove that uh, social psychology is important in our society. Why? Because social psychology studies the behavior of individuals and groups. We are not only concerned to study the, the behavior of an individual. We also concerned to study the behavior of groups. And this is what found in the, th in the three scopes of uh, social psychology that we mentioned earlier. Everyone who deals with and communicates with different community group needs this science to understand and guide individuals and to study various responses within the community. For example, you are an Egyptian and you're going to uh, work, for example, in another country, uh, a Gulf, even Gulf country or European country or USA or whatsoever. So what we need in order to communicate with the people in different community, because we are in the community and the other people are community, or we are in a society and the other society, we have all our own traditions, they have their own traditions. So how we should understand the traditions of the other people in order or to understand their behavior, their attitudes, their thinking, their thoughts in order to be able to communicate 
with them and understand them and know how to respond to each reaction. Okay, if there is a sorry to each, to each act. So how we will react to each act because every act has its own reaction. For example, the teacher needs in his class to analyze the students' personalities and their interdependence and understand the relationships between them and strategies that fit the patterns and mechanisms to, con to convince them for a particular idea in addition to the partnership among themselves and cooperation and competitions and behaviors based on their presence within the group. For example, a teacher in the school a professor in a in a college and he's going to teach the students a course and that's mean he should understand the, the psychology of the student in order to know how to manage the class and how to present the, how to teach them the content of the course so and then accordingly he will set a strategy this strategy will fit those students because he already studied them and understand how they can respond to his explanation. Maybe he will make an assignment so we know how they can manage this with the groups or maybe he will uh, announce for a competition. So how they, they, these uh, students will behave uh, uh, toward uh, to this competition and they, how they will uh, uh, be challenged to compete in order to uh, gain the award. Thus, the understanding of social and cultural being, which in turn determines the expected behavioral patterns in different social attitudes. When we study the individual and we study the groups, okay, and we study their thoughts, beliefs, thinking, study their attitudes, study their behavior, we can expect what will be in the future, how they will behave in the future. Practical importance. Here we are going to discuss uh, uh, the importance of uh, these groups. Uh, as uh, here we are going to be concerned with the teacher, social specialist, businessman, normal human, global importance. All people who engage in groups and individuals need to study the principles of social psychology continuously in order to understand and guide social behaviors. The importance of these groups is as follows. The teacher. Earlier also we mentioned this, but we are going to uh, also focus in it again. The teacher in the classroom needs what? To understand the social behavior characteristics of the students. For example, uh, you and me, you are the students, so I should understand the characteristics of the students. You are the students of uh, the first year in uh, Faculty of Mass Communication, uh, gender is uh, female and male, uh, age is uh, between 17, 18 or 19. Um, uh, mo uh, all of you uh, already uh, have the same uh, uh, education uh, talent because all of you uh, received uh, uh, over 90%. Uh, all of you uh, 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 have been uh, examined the uh, abilities in order the uh, ability test in order to be uh, uh, to apply to the faculty of mass communication. So here are the characteristics. Okay, as a micro social environment. Okay, on a level on that level, based on the relationship and interacting among their members as well as the importance of identifying the steps of socialization. And of course, I will take you step by step in order to know how we can socialize. Mm -hmm. And this is what will be appear in what? In the behavior interaction between the 
teacher and the students. Such as uh, competition, make competition among groups, uh, uh, cooperation, while well, we identify you in or uh, classify you in groups or you, we tell you choose the group which you like to work with in order that you can manage cooperation, uh, learning how you are, uh, how can you study and what you will gain, the collective thinking, what you will have, the accumulation of what you are going to learn uh, within the term. So this is, is a relationship between the teacher and the students in the class. The teacher will start to classify the students according to their thinking, feelings, uh, behaviors, and so on. And he knows how to uh, identify them and to uh, cooperate or to uh, socialize with them step by step. Uh, and this is will show the behavior interaction among the students in the class. Uh, such if we are going to make a competition uh, 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 or their cooperation that they will be uh, in groups uh, or also the, how, the, the way of uh, learning and at the end of the course what will be the collective thinking that they will accumulate within this course. Um, social specialists. Social specialists that the people who are specialized in studying social groups or studying social organization, for example. Uh, why they are going to use social psychology? They are going to use social psychology in order to understand the group that they are going to deal with it or to interact with it or work with it in order and their uh, tendency is uh, what to make this group uh, unity. Uh, there are uh, uh, together, working uh, together, uh, they uh, uh, have the same feelings, uh, uh, same attitudes and same behaviors, uh, their trends, intentions, uh, and accordingly uh, the leadership, to find the leadership, okay? So this is the importance of social psychology to social specialists in understanding and studying social organizations and its orientation or its intentions towards what, towards to understand that this group are tending to be in one unit, uh, to know their trends, their thinking, their intolerance, and, uh, and finally the leadership. Businessman. The social psychology will help businessman. Yes, it will help businessman. To understand the nature of the laws of human relations that exist between categories of workers in a given domain. Yeah, for example, he is a businessman, okay, working in uh, uh, technology. So he should know the laws of the human relations, how they can the people can relate with each other, interdepend on each other. Interdepend means that there is a. Uh, an exchange relationship. This that exists that it will be between categories of workers because we are not all the workers will work in the field of uh, production. People are going to uh, design. Uh, people are going to manufacture. Okay, so we are going to have categories of workers within the uh, manufacturing or uh, within the uh, organization and so on, in a given domain, in a given field, for example, like the example of the uh, technology. And the important relationship between the level of moral spirit and mental health. And also, it's very important to understand them uh, uh, rationally and emotionally, okay? And the level of production and achievement, because if you understand the relationship between the level of moral spirit mm -hmm. that they are uh, active, that they are motivated uh, to produce uh, in order to make productivity, and also to be sure that they uh, mentally uh, are fine. Okay, so this will help. What this will raise the level of production 
and accordingly with that, uh, uh, the organization will achieve or fulfill its uh, goals at the end of the year for example because there is the plan for the a year that this year we should fulfill uh, for example 50 percent of production and accordingly uh, the uh, selling uh, uh, plan so here it's very important to understand that those who are the workers in our organization uh, uh, mentally and uh, moral spirit because this will help in the production and accordingly the achievement of the target at the end of the year. It's very important we need uh, social psychology in everyday life. We need to understand the people who are we are dealing with. It. Why? Because when you understand them, you can know how to communicate with them. So normal human, the normal people that we are dealing with them every day. When we go out from our home, we are going to meet people in the street, we are going to meet people in the college, we are going to meet people uh, in the club, we are going to meet people in uh, the supermarket, in the malls, and so on. That means it's, we need social psychology in everyday life, uh, wherever we go. Uh, this helps what to achieve or to uh, reach uh, as much as possible the individual's understanding we can understand the people who are surrounding us to understand their behavior to understand their external behavior with others individuals thus uh, understanding the dynamics of interaction and communication with others so we know how we uh, communicate with the other people as well as the cultural and social backgrounds in which patterns and behaviors are determined and accordingly we know the background of the uh, individual or the other partner that we are going to deal with because this will help us to know how we are going to deal with the, this character so it's very important to understand the other people okay because when you understand the others you can know how the key how to communicate with them in order to achieve your goal good judgment in using the proper way to deal with others either by accepting and sacrificing some in some situation or with this taste and dislike in other situations. This means what? Not all the people will be the same as me in thinking or beliefs or, not, uh, or attitudes or behavior. So sometimes if we find the other partner is the same, it's okay. We will accept this relationship. But sometimes if we will find that they are different than us, and you want to complete the re this relationship, you would sacrifice. That means that what you will start to accept a different uh, thinking than your own thinking. That other is thinking different than you, you will accept that. Means that you will sacrifice in some situations, or you will distaste. You means distaste means you dislike. You do not want. So you are going to not complete this relationship. So it's very important to know social psychology in order to deal with the other people or you are going to be isolated from uh, the social uh, society.